brief one minute, one minute, one minute, so, so, so. Yeah, now stop. Yeah. So, hello, everyone. Uh, this is indeed my name. I am Irina Smirnova Pinchukova. I did my PhD in astronomy at MPIA, and now I am looking for a job. <laughs> And today I decided to talk not about these beautiful galaxies I've talked so much during the last few years, but rather about something I've never given a talk about before. It's about my hobby. So this is my uh, latest or one of the latest crochets. So my hobby is to crochet, specifically toys. What I love the most about my hobby is when a toy becomes a character it kind of becomes alive, and this is an incredible feeling. That is why I often prefer to crochet cartoon characters. So why Python? This is PyData. Have you crocheted a Python? You would ask if only the questions were allowed during lightning talks. So to define a problem I am solving with Python, I have to step back and talk about crochet a little bit. In two-dimensional or flat crochet, there is absolutely no problem. There are many uh, beautiful knots. They all have names and symbols. And to design something, you can simply sketch it with a pen and a piece of paper and then do an actual thing. And this chain of the text instructions where you write down what to crochet knot by knot, row by row, uh, the visualization, which is simply done, and the actual thing works perfectly. Now let's go through the process of designing a toy together. For example, I want to crochet this little Totoro friend from my neighbor Totoro cartoon. I can look at it uh, from different perspectives to understand its shape a bit more. And now we need to go to a three-dimensional crochet. Good news. I do not need no fancy knots to crochet, only the simplest one. And also, I have an idea how to start. I have an idea how to crochet. I can write down some instructions. Bad news, the visualization step is missing. So I, I have no idea what's written here. I don't have such a great imagination, and it's impossible to draw it with uh, a pen and a paper. So what often happens is that I, I look at the toy and I think, oh no, I wish the proportion was just a little bit different. And you can imagine that the bigger the toy is, the more tragic the decision to rip off half of it, change a little bit, and then repeat hundreds of the same knot over again, it just can be pain. So I'm developing a tool with Python I called Crochets, uh, where it reads this text, this instructions, with regular expressions and creates a network X graph. Now, all I have to do is to visualize this graph. I use it with Kamada Kawaii layout, which is a force directed graph drawing method. It treats a graph as a physical model uh, and minimizes this energy function. Uh, for each node with the strongest force iteratively. And now I can decide which proportion is more kawaii beforehand, and then I can crochet my toy only one time. So if you are interested in looking at these models in a more interactive way, to rotate it and also look, different, uh, look at the different graphs, I have crochets on my laptop and I can show you. And of course, the actual result is here. 